Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first week of our renovation diaries. So you might have seen my previous video a few days ago which was a kitchen renovation kind of plans video and a walkthrough of our kitchen before and in that video I asked if people would like to see kind of weekly diaries while our renovation was going on and a lot of people said yes so that's what I'm going to do. I think they're just going to be like little snippets here and there if something's exciting has happened that day and stuff. Off. and today is the first full day that the builders have been here and so much has happened already so I thought I would kind of show you what they've done so far they've pretty much ripped out the entire kitchen so I thought that I would put these up on a Sunday every week until our kind of renovation is over but let me show you what they have done today So look at this, I cannot believe it. So this morning we had a fully working kitchen and a separate utility room and now we have got just a big open space. So they've pretty much ripped out the entire kitchen, they've even sort of done the ceiling as well and they've knocked down the wall already that separated the kitchen and the utility room. So the wall was here and then there was the door and that's all been ripped out so they have done so much already today and they've just left and they said they're coming back tomorrow to knock down this wall which I'm really scared about so this wall is going to need to have steel in it uh, because it's a supporting wall and they're also going to take out the floor and stuff and also take out all the utility room stuff as well so it's all go already I cannot believe that they've done this on the first day so if you look you can see that they have like taped up our nice door. This door we're not so worried about because it's being replaced. But this door is one of our new doors. So they've kind of stopped it all from getting dust on it. And yeah, it's really exciting. I just cannot believe that this is after one day. And then I also thought I would just quickly show you, we've made like a little bit of a makeshift kind of kitchen area in our dining room for the time being. So in this space, there used to be a big plant pot. I've just moved that out of the way for the time being. This was all John's idea. He did it for me while I was out, bless him. So let me show you. So what we've got is we've got a microwave. We actually just went and bought this. It was just a cheap one from Tesco's because ours are broken. So we just got this for the time being. He even bought me like a little pot plant, bless him, to put on the top. Then we've just got some fruit, we've got our toaster and chopping board to chop the kind of toast and stuff on, chop the toast, cut the toast and then we have got this drawer which has got our cutlery in it and a bottle opener, some sharp knives, John's coffee, some saucepans, um, bowls, plates etc. So just basically all the kind of essentials that we will need. This unit we're actually um, getting rid of to be honest, we're going to rehome it because it doesn't go with the kitchen, it won't fit in with the new one. Unfortunately, it is a little bit damaged at the bottom. But then in this one, we have just got a load of crisps and like snacker jacks and things like that. It's just basically snacks and essentials for cooking. We have also got a slow cooker, which we're gonna use as well. But because we haven't used it yet, that's still just outside in our office where the rest of our kitchen is being stored. So then down there, we've just got some kitchen roll and some juice and some cleaning stuff and things. And then in here, we've just got a load of like snacky bits. So we've got some like bread bits. We've got some like Ritz crackers and things. Loads of like kind of chocolate and snacks and stuff for the kids. All our sort of breakfast stuff and things like that. And then some bread. So that's what we've got in there. I think as the time goes on, we'll probably find that we'll need different stuff. But this is what we've got for the moment. And then if I take you along here, we're just storing our other little table there for the time being. And this is where the little table used to be. And we just bought a cheap fridge just to put the essentials in. So, look, <laughs> Diet Coke. Oh, drop the water. Diet Cokes, milk for the builders, milk for breakfast and cereals and things. A load of yogurts, cheese, ham, um, butter and things like that. So, again, as the time goes on, we might find that we want to store different things in there. But that's kind of what we've got for the moment. So, I mean... It's not ideal, it's not the best, is it? But at the end of the day, it's better than I thought. Like, I didn't really know what we were gonna do about like a little bit of a makeshift kitchen area. And I think it's okay. Day two of renovations is really quite scary. Let me show you what they have done today. 
So here we go, look at this. So today there has been lots of developments. So this is now a big gaping hole into our garage. So the wall has been completely knocked down here. And then like I said yesterday, the wall has been knocked down here. But this is a structural wall. So we have got um, some steel holding up the house at the moment. So we've got three bits there and then three bits back there. John, do your little joke that you did with the door. You did a little joke with the door. <laughs> Better lock this in case anyone wants to try and get in. <laughs> ah, the fun we have. Building bants, that's what they call that. <laughs> so yeah, I mean it's quite exciting. There is absolutely stuff everywhere. But this is going to be where we're going to sink the cupboards back to get a little bit more space. And then this is going to be the utility room and over there is going to be the snug. So it's very exciting. So day four of our renovations and I'm speaking quietly so no one hears me, but they've come today to fit the bifold doors, which is really exciting quite early on. So you can see they've put up some steel just to hold the house in place. And we now haven't got a window or a door there. And then you can see just there, they've cut where the bifold doors are gonna go because we're having the bifold doors extended out a little bit, which is good, so it's very exciting. And uh, yeah, it's all go today. And then there's people in there doing other stuff. <laughs> and uh, it's all going on. So it's Friday afternoon and we have survived our first full week of renovations. I keep kind of thinking, am I gonna get stressed out about like the mess and the dust and the grime and the fact that we're not eating amazingly because we have got a limited kitchen but to be honest I'm just not I'm just so excited like literally so excited to be doing this and as yet it hasn't really bothered me the mess and the grime and the builders and stuff so it's been a really really productive first week loads of exciting stuff has happened i don't think that every week is going to be as exciting as this i think it might plateau out a little bit and not everything will be as exciting you know like how exciting is plastering and stuff like that but this week has been really exciting because obviously we've had the kitchen ripped out we've had big holes in the side of the house created for all the bifolds and things and I've just come back from being out for a few hours and something else really exciting has happened which is a nice way to end the week in that the garage window has gone in so if you remember we're having a garage conversion and the window has gone in and I was expecting it not to be as good as it is because obviously it is a garage conversion and any other garage conversion we've seen, you can definitely tell at the kind of front of the house that it looks like a garage conversion, if that makes sense, because that is what it is. And it does still look like it's a garage conversion and it does still look like the window has arrived at a later date, but because our windows were quite new anyway, we managed to match and get the same window. So it just looks really good. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to show you because I obviously don't wanna show my neighbor's house or anything like that. So I don't know whether I can particularly show you from the inside, but I'll show you from the outside looking in, but it's just brilliant and it looks really good. So I'm standing in the snug at the moment and I'll take you around to the kitchen as well and quickly show you kind of, there's not much update in there, but I'll quickly show you what's gone on in there as well so this is the window I'm really pleased with it like I said you can still see it's a garage conversion because obviously here's our other garage that hasn't been converted and this is the new window but we managed to pretty much match the exact style and well it is the exact style it's the exact same as the other windows in our house and yeah I'm just really pleased with it it looks really good so it's quite dark in here in the kitchen but hopefully you can get a little bit of an idea so you can see where our bifold doors are going to be so i'm so impressed by how big the space is going to be because we extended the space out if you remember we sort of bought the bifold doors out a little bit and then this is where the existing utility room door used to be and now we've raised that up a bit as well if you see it used to finish here and they've cut the brick so it's now level with the bifold doors because otherwise it might look a little bit strange if they weren't level so it's going to be such a bright room i think when it's all finished we've also had steel put in at the top here just to give it a little bit more support and they're all ready to be fitted hopefully soon and then if we go around here this it's really hard to get an idea but if you can imagine this was all a wall like at the start of the week it's crazy and what they have done now is you can see where the cupboards are going to go so this is where the utility room will start 
and then this is the kind of space we've sunk back for the cupboards if that makes sense so then when the cupboards are fitted they will be level here so it's not much space that we've taken but it's just enough to get us a nice big island in the center so it's all very exciting and then I thought I'd quickly show you just from the outside <laughs> it's not much to look at it's just an absolute mess but this is what the outside looks like two big boarded up holes and that is it that is week one renovation diary done I would love to know if you enjoy these and if you would like me to carry them on I mean obviously they're so interesting to me and they will be so lovely to look back on in years to come and I'm just loving every single minute of this process but obviously they might not be that interesting just seeing a big dusty messy house to anybody else so I'd love to know if you're enjoying them and whether I should carry on doing these but thank you so much for watching and hopefully if you're enjoying them I will see you back for renovation diary week two next sunday but thank you so much for watching bye